Hey guys, how are you going? And welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I'm going to be giving you my top tips to stick to your cutting diet. So essentially a cutting diet or a cut is when you want to get shredded and you want to lose fat and yeah like you want to cut. So obviously you're going to be in a calorie deficit which means you're going to be eating less calories than you're burning so you burn fat. So recently I just did a two month cut for my birthday. So that was eight weeks of meal plans, uh, diet and workout plans. So every week they would change. In some weeks, if I was making good progress, they wouldn't change. Um, but yeah, I did this for eight weeks. And honestly, I'll put the comparison photos like down. Like I'll put the comparison photos here. And like, oh my gosh, I was like so shocked at the difference because in the first photo I was like yeah like I didn't if there's nothing wrong with my body in the first photo but in the first photo I was like yeah I feel good I feel fine but then when I saw my body after the eight weeks of strict dieting strict training and like really working hard I was like wow it is so amazing what you can accomplish when you put your head down in two months two months like it sounds so long but when you're in the process of it and it just becomes part of your routine and like it just becomes like kind of your life it it flies by so, and good evening guys it is a sunday the 26th of may our eight week cut which takes me to my birthday today's the end of my cut so i did an eight week cut and it was for my birthday it's video comparisons i'm uh, like so shocked at how much my body changed and like it just shows like hard work really does pay off um, but yeah you can just see like way more muscle definition and I've obviously like lost body fat um, but yeah I'm just super super happy with the progress I made in that cut okay my first tip is trust the process so these words are very, very special to me because when I first started training, I was like, oh, nothing's working. Oh, I'm not seeing results. Oh, there's no progress. Oh, I have to change it. Oh, like I have to change how many carbs I'm eating or I have to up my cardio or I have to change what glute exercise I'm doing. No. So my coach, my trainer, my boyfriend, Derek Lancey, he... I remember right from the start just said trust the process and I was always like trust the process like yeah 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 whatever but it's so true like trust the process trust that your consistency that your hard work and that your dedication will get you the results you want and honestly it will one thing with the training and fitness and dieting one thing I love about it is you only get what you put in. Nothing happens overnight. If, if it happened overnight, everyone would have the secret. Everyone would know how to be in shape and be having a six pack and everything. No, it takes a lot of knowledge, a lot of learning, a lot of trial and error. You know what I mean? Like there's going to be so many times you try things and they don't work. It's take photos. So when you do weight training, I recommend to never step on the scales because at the end of the day muscle weighs more than fat so someone who lifts really really heavy and has a lot of muscle but could look a lot leaner and a lot smaller weight could weigh more than someone who doesn't so my advice to you guys is to ditch the scales and don't use the scales as a measurement of your progress use photos so just at the end of the day trust your process and remember good things take time I still to this day have to tell myself 
trust the process. Okay, so my second tip is be consistent. So be consistent with your diet and be consistent with your training. So you have an off day or an off meal. So you go and eat a cookie one day and you go over your macros. So you miss the gym one day. It's okay. What's going to set you back 10 steps is if you miss two weeks. You're going to really notice a difference. So be consistent because you're going to keep that motivation there if you keep being consistent because obviously you're going to see results quicker if you're consistent. Find a training you love. Find a diet plan you love. You're not going to stick to a diet plan if it's just chicken and rice because a lot of people don't want to eat chicken and rice. Find the foods that you like. Find the training style that you like and run with it. Do what you love because at the end of the day, it's only you. You're the only person who can get yourself to the gym and you're the only person who can make those healthy choices. Find a diet plan that works for you. Find a diet plan you enjoy eating because at the end of the day, you're going to be eating this seven days a week for eight weeks. So you've got to have some enjoyment in it because if you have a diet plan, of chicken and rice and you don't like chicken and rice and you only do that diet plan one day out of seven days as opposed to having a diet plan you do love and you do that six days out of seven you're going to find more results from the diet plan you stick to so that's like definitely a big tip is stay consistent okay tip number three is have refeed refeeds cheat meals whatever you call them but these are essentially meals where you have a lot of calories and um, they're meant to fill out your like muscles so usually you have a refeed when you're cutting when you're really flat and you've been doing lots of cardio and lots of weight training and you're looking really flat and kind of like like malnourished not malnourished but like you just kind of look like you need food um, so this is when you would have a refeed and in that refeed have like a lot of carbs and those carbs um, will help fill out your muscles so and you need things to look forward to what like if you have five to six meals a day if you have scheduled refeeds where you're allowed to just kind of have a really nice meal you're more likely to stick to your meal plan in the week I find having one day in a week as a cheat meal is so important for your lifestyle and your diet because it gives you something to look forward to and when you're training in that week you've got this cheat meal coming up so you're not as inclined to go off track or cheat on your diet or miss a training because you get really excited for this cheat meal or refeed and you're like oh yes like I've got ice cream today or I've got burger and chips in two days like I'm gonna work work really hard like so I can really enjoy it and refeeds are super important to have in your diet um, they give you something to look forward to they keep you on track and they're really beneficial because they actually do fill out your muscles and I find the next day after a refeed I can like I train so hard and so intense because I just had all these carbs refeeds definitely a yes okay this is a huge one for me be organized so I find what works for a lot of people is the five days you have work after work or before work have your five training days that way you're in a really good routine because you already have to go to work for eight hours so you just get up a couple more hours early and do your training and then go into work um, be organized with your meals so when you're say you work in an office or you work in hospitality there's always food surrounded in our life I know it's great <laughs> um, but say you work in an office and they bring in muffins for morning tea or you work in hospitality and they cook too many pizzas and there's pizza you need to have the willpower to first say no but also have your prepped meals with you have your healthy packed lunch and packed dinner with you so that you can be like no I'm not gonna have that pizza I'm gonna have my salad and feel good about it eat your salad I'd be like yes but not having that option to choose your salad 
you're definitely just going to be inclined to go eat the pizza. So I find when you're organized and you have the options of your healthy meals, you're going to choose them. But if you're not organized and you don't take your prepped meals to work, yeah, if there's free pizza and you're hungry, you're going to take the free pizza. So yeah, be organized. Okay, tip number four is out of sight, out of mind. So you might be like, what? But, so you have treats in your cupboard, chocolate, jellies, lollies, cake, whatever. Yes, it's okay to have those treats because you're going to have some sugar cravings throughout the cut and you want to have those treats there. I get that. Don't chuck them out. But all I'm saying is hide them. So when I started my birthday cut, I had, what did I have? I had peach rings, which I love. Peach rings oh, so good. Peach rings, I had like chocolate, peppermint, like squares, like just, I love chocolate and mint. So it was like chocolates. So it was just like chocolates and lollies and stuff. And I didn't want to just like chuck them out because I knew like I'm going to have a craving. So all I did was take them from my main cupboard and I hid them right at the top of my baking cupboard. And like to get into my baking cupboard, I have to like pull a chair out, stand on a chair, like get into the cupboard. And I only go into that cupboard when I start baking, which is not that often. But here's the thing, when you're waking up or like when you're making meals, you don't see these treats. You don't see the peach rings, you don't see the chocolates. So you don't really think to have them. It's like you open the cupboard and you see salt, olive oil, spices, you're like, okay, I'm gonna cook my chicken and put some spices on it. Or you open the cupboard and you see peach rings and chocolate, you're gonna be like, well, I could cook my chicken for my post-workout, but I could also snack on some peach rings. So that's where I find it's super important. Out of sight, out of mind. So just out of sight, out of mind. Okay, tip number five, keep busy. Go to the gym, get my nails done, get my eyelashes done. Like, I like to have lots of appointments on so that I'm keeping busy and I'm not always thinking about, oh, what's my next meal? Or I feel like a protein bar or I feel like cake. I find on the days off, I have lots of appointments and lots of things to do and I'm kept focused and my brain is elsewhere. I'm not as like I don't have as many cravings and I don't go over my macros and I eat well I am usually out in the city and I take my meals with me I prep a few I'll prep a chicken salad or I'll yeah usually it's a chicken salad I love chicken salads um, and I'll like do some messages downtown and then I'll have my chicken salad and then I'll do some more messages just like keeping yourself active and keeping yourself busy you're gonna get hunger pains when you're actually hungry you know what I mean so you're not just gonna be like oh I feel hungry when really your body's maybe just dehydrated but you think you're hungry and you just need a glass of water I find What's really good when you're on a cutting diet is keep yourself distracted. If you're sitting in the house and you're hungry, go outside and have a walk. Or go meet up with a friend and have some coffee. And by that time, two hours would have passed and it, it is time for your next meal. So keep, keep busy. Okay, so my final tip, tip number six, I think six tips is good. Stay hydrated. So when you're cutting you need to stay hydrated i like to have this bottle because one it's really big so you don't have to keep refilling it and you're also like you're getting a lot of water in once you drink one of these and it also has the straw so i drink so much water when it's with a straw because i'll just be sitting there and i'll just be like if i'm waiting for my coffee to be made or i'm sitting on the street cart and I just sip and that's getting me more and more hydration throughout the day and I'm out doing my messages and I'm hungry and I have this with me I'm like no I'm gonna drink this first and then see if I'm still hungry or drink this 
and sometimes I am still hungry after it if it's time for another meal and sometimes I'm not I'm good I'm full I'm satisfied so yeah having one of these take it with you wherever you go so drink lots and lots and lots of water so yeah that concludes my video today I hope you guys enjoyed this little sit down chit chat sesh and yeah if you guys liked this video give it a thumbs up because that would be great um, but I hope you guys are having a great evening afternoon morning or wherever you are in the world and I'll see you in my next video bye